With two disjointed bodies, it's tempting to quickly just add a loft or a boundary in between the two faces. The result of which quickly connects the bodies but doesn't really give you a smooth transition between the two faces or between the two bodies that you're working with. And similarly, if you try to do the same with the boundary, and use end conditions, that might make this look a little bit better, such as the curvature to face. You'll find the feature is going to fail because these two faces are just too close together to get a curvature to face relation. So the quick fix to something like this is to actually remove out material and then use a boundary feature with curvature to face end conditions to get a smooth transition between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a quick sketch on the front plane. And just draw in pretty much any closed shape to cut some of this material away. Once I have that, it's fairly simple to get a connection between these two, simply using the boundary tool. And I can go ahead and just select the two, and get the connectors lined up in the right place, and then use that curvature to face end condition on both of these. And if we wanted this to follow a certain direction as well, we could always add in other curves to guide this. But you can see this is a very simple way to get a smooth transition between two disjointed bodies. With the boundary tool, sometimes the curvature to face option is going to require you to do a little bit more modification to the surface. You can see a little bit of an indent. And once again, you can always control this by adding more curves or adding a direction to. Or modifying your connectors and adding more connectors to line this up properly.